The Shirley Hill, a challenge for drivers at the best of times. The road is steep and the banks rise up on either side, with trees clinging to the meager soil there. But they have done so, many of them, for the last hundred years. There are probably some that started spurting leaves at the same time as our country started sprouting provinces. The trees, as we whiz by on the highway, silently hold whole other worlds in their branches. A world of birds, bugs, of moss and ferns, of frogs and moths. But sometimes, the fall rains can saturate the ground that has endured five months of dryness and turn it into a flowing mass of mud. If a tree happens to be growing on that piece of land, well, it comes down to. This wasn't a real big slide, but it was a pretty big tree. If I counted the rings right, this was 117 years old. It came down across the highway, snapping power poles and lines as if they weren't even there, with the top landing on the other side of the road. It came down at 1.30 and they had the power back up by 5. People had to wait a bit, but they got it back too. A west coast rainforest is as dense as it is tall. Even here at part way up this hill, there are trees down on the valley floor which have branches well above my head. I like the way you can see the forest when you look back at that same spot again. Something is there that you didn't see last time. And here, this was where the previous slide happened on the Shirley Hill a couple of years ago. It didn't close the road but spread a couple of inches of gravel all the way down the hill. At the bottom of the hill is Kirby Creek, a fast-flowing, at least at this time of year, west coast stream burgling over the rock. Along Kirby Creek there are some big old maples, their roots soaking up the nutrients that the stream brings and turning them into huge mantles of leaves. Now at this time of year, when those leaves have turned their wondrous colors, they are released to blanket the world below. Sunshine filters through the clouds, and leaves to rest in the creek with its unstoppable song, drowning out even the occasional car that zips by. Is it a tranquil spot that I could stand in for hours? But for now, it's time to go.